the rescue mediums now sit down with the owners to present their findings, alongside independent research to see what matches up. When we did the rescue, a week we were on the second floor, and Robert Barry came through very strongly. But there are, there are hot spots there in are. instead of cold spots. They're hot spots. Mm. Yeah. He's right here. Yeah. This is the man. This is Robert. Wow. This is the person that I saw by the door. That's who Room you two. saw? And that's the same man that I saw. I saw that exact top head. In 1774, Robert Barry joined the Loyalist forces out of New York and became part of an exodus, which brought him to Nova Scotia and eventually Shelbourne, where he owned the very land on which the Loyalist Inn now stands. Was he evil? No, he was confused. Okay. There was anger with him, mm -hmm. which you would have picked up and you would have felt it. Yeah. But he wasn't evil. Kind of like know. doom and gloom. Yes. Barry was an ardent supporter of the Methodist Church, but Christine and Jackie believe he fell out of step with his beliefs and began questioning his faith. And because he didn't truthfully believe, he didn't know what happened after death, and so that's why he was still here on this land. I don't know if you've noticed, the atmosphere is yes. a lot lighter. Yes, yes, yes. Because he's not trapped anymore. But what of the apparent spirit in the basement? Do you remember in the premonitions we said about a chair, mm -hmm. a haunted yes. chair or a chair, yes. something to do with a chair? A spirit in a chair, or somebody seen, somebody sitting in a chair. Well, we got quite a shock when we went down to your basement because we went right around a little corner and there was a chair. It is. Oh, it is. Oh, no. I tell you, we nearly had a heart attack. <laughs> That's scary. Now, do you remember also we said in the premonitions about a, a very angry young man in spirit? Yes. Yeah? We found him. <clears throat> Near the electrical room? Oh, yeah. Would that make sense to you? Oh, yeah. Okay. You always felt like something was watching you, and it's just eerie, very eerie. It's interesting that you should feel that, because you were being watched, of course. <laughs> you were being watched by a gentleman who said his name was Matthew. Matthew, there's Matthew, Matthew there, Matthew. Matthew. And we talked about slavery, if you remember, in the premonitions as well. Uh, slavery or history of slaves. We also gave the name of Thomas in the premonitions. Well, we've now found that Matthew Thomas received a bounty from the government for fighting with the British behind mm -hmm. British lines. In 1774, Matthew Thomas, alongside hundreds of black slaves, boarded ships for Nova Scotia. In exchange for their services to the Loyalist Army, they were promised freedom and what was to be sustainable land. He said that he'd been promised his freedom. He'd been promised land and he did not get this. Tragically, the promised settlements were often overcrowded and the land infertile leaving many of the black loyalists like Matthew Thomas with nothing to feed their families. He was definitely trapped here on the earth plane. It was a very, very moving rescue. Um, and you are instrumental in this. Yeah, we're going to have a plaque put up now with your name on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. Yeah. Everyone's been helped. Yes. Good. Everyone's yeah, been helped. They have. Things are going up Thank and up you. and up now. Good. Okay. Good. The rescue mediums wish the innkeeper and her family farewell. <laughs> We're a team. Bye, bye, girls. Bye. They make their way to the ocean for some spirits by the sea. This has been a really different one, hasn't it? Yeah. Been good though. I like it here. Yeah, it is a bit windy, isn't it? It's very windy. Yeah. Tell you what, I don't want to go back on that little rowboat. How are we going to get back? Oh, we could always take a ghost ship. Ah, oh, cheers. cheers. <laughs>